Well, we hope you, this has given you a little taste of Morton Gould's music and that you'll enjoy listening to the different works that, by him that we'll present at each of our concerts. Abby wrote another part in her email to Dottie. And he wrote about, she wrote about that sometimes Morton got some help for writing his compositions. And Abby sent us this story about how one time Daddy was working on a commission and Jimmy the parakeet got loose. Flew up to his third floor studio while Daddy was having lunch downstairs. The bird promptly pooped on the sheets of music left out on the desk. Abby tells us that her father tells the following story about the incident. Parakeet droppings are black and white, so they look like notes. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out why I had added those extra notes to my piece. <laughs> Eventually, I realized those extra notes weren't mine. And although I had to rewrite that whole score sheet, the thing that really ticked me off was that those parakeet notes improved my composition immensely. <laughs> So he does have a great sense of humor, and I think it shows in his music. So our next piece is The Night Before Christmas. It's a wonderful setting of this Clement Clark Moore poem, A Visit from St. Nicholas. And we've even got a harpist again to play with us. Thank you, Sue Breholtz, for playing with us. Our narrator this afternoon is Wayne K. Woods. Wayne was with us at our Labor Day concert, narrating The New Birth of Freedom by Randall Allen Bass, and we enjoyed his performance so much that we asked him to come narrate The Night Before Christmas, which is also by Randall Allen Bass. And we're very glad that he was available again. So please welcome actor Wayne K. Woods, narrating The Night Before Christmas. Was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama was in her kerchief, and I in my cap. Just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, threw open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon gave a luster of midday below to the objects below. When what to my wandering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> and a lively old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, when he whistled and shouted and called them by name. 
Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Dunner and Blitzen. Top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all! As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, of course, as they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. Then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and calling of each little roof. And as I drew in my head, turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bow! Dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stomp in his mouth, his pipe in his teeth, and the smoking encircled his head like a roof. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jelly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him <laughs> in spite of myself. A weep of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work. He filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside his nose, giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and they all flew away like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as they drove away, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Well, the band is going to take a little break, and we're going to have the Amuse Singers in Vocality sing a few pieces for you. Please welcome them and their director, Deborah Wicks Labuma. Shavuos, any sense 
St. Louis. That's charming spot, but clearly not for me. Those Eastern Twinkles and Twinkle Doodles over the very One place for me. One place for me. Amid the California flora, I'll be lighting my menorah. Like a baby in his cradle, I'll be playing, playing with my dreidel, spending Hanukkah in Santa Monica by the sea. Too much holiday music. This is uh, this is a song, a mashup, as we call it, from uh, Home and Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. this song before. Feel free to sing along. Remember clappers. We got clappers. Okay, I'm reminding you guys about clapping. Now, just so you know, the, the names of the singers are not in the program just to protect the guilty. So, <laughs> um, but hey, if you haven't had enough festivity today, you can join us at Terranea for the Christmas tree lighting. We're singing right after this concert at 5 o'clock over at Terranea. So follow us to Terranea. And uh, we're not asking for donations, but we will accept buying us drinks after the party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's our last song for you. It is Feliz Navidad. Oh. Non alcoholic for you guys. Oh. <laughs>
So we're going to combine our forces again, and we're going to do um, a beautiful uh, setting uh, by uh, Douglas Wagner of three English carols, which were collected, arranged, adapted, and harmonized by Rafe Vaughan Williams, one of the most important English composers of the 20th century, and also a prominent band composer. The three carols in this piece are Forest Green, which is the British version of Little Town of Bethlehem, the Wysale Song, and Sussex, Sussex Carol. So we hope you enjoy a Vaughan Williams Christmas. I also want to thank the Botanic Garden for having us. And our next concert here at the Botanic Garden is May 12th, Mother's Day, Time to be Determined. So our next piece is the last number on the printed program. And you get to sing along. It's a fun medley of several popular Christmas songs, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Silver Bells, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. 
So there's no excuses for not singing because there wasn't insert in your program with the words, right? You all have the words? Good. And you don't have the words? Well, you know the words. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not. Nah, nah, you know the words. Okay. And to lead you in this is Deborah Wicks, the Puma. Okay. Luckily, I've got the words. <laughs> and the chorus will sing along too. But you That's can, right. you can sing.
we are going to have one more piece. We can't let the chorus go without giving you one more piece. All right, this is Baby It's Cold Outside. Thank you so much for coming this afternoon. Thank you so much for your support. Happy holidays to everybody. Have the happiest of New Year's, and we'll see you in the spring.